Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you actually a different video. I've been having this idea for a while and I thought, you know, let me uh, make this video. I'll see how it does. If it does well, I'll keep doing them. If it doesn't, then I probably won't because why would I waste my time? So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a story time type of video. I'm totally ripping off Tana mongoose or mojolo or mongulu or something whatever the fuck her name is the blonde bimbo you know she fucked me with the toothbrush girl he fucked me with a toothbrush you know who the fuck i'm talking about all right i know it might be hard to believe but well maybe not because i'm such a weird fuck my god but probably isn't hard to believe that in my teenage years i was a goth I don't want to say I was 100% goth, but I was like half goth and half metalhead. So that would be wearing all black, listening to like punk metal bands and screamo and shit, uh, having very long hair, actually even wore eyeliner. Like what the fuck was I thinking? So I'm going to tell you guys a story. When I was 14, I actually went out with a girl. Uh, her name was Sophia. One night we actually went to the movies and when you go to the movies, um, you actually have to cross to a cemetery. So she was making a joke and she was like, oh, we should go and, you know, hang out in the cemetery after the movie. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Just trying to play it cool, I guess. So we watched the movie. We, you know, kissed, made out. And um, when we left the movies, we had to go home. So going home, we had to pass by the cemetery again. And she was like, oh, let's walk through the cemetery and have a talk. And I'm like, Okay, now keep in mind, I, I've been dating this girl only for about two to three weeks at the moment. And teenage relationships, you know, they don't really last long. I think my longest relationship was probably like three months. So we're, I mean, I don't, I don't know. It was just me back in the day and that's how it was you know, me and my friends, we didn't really go out with girls and last long. Well, I don't mean last long in bed, but you get what I mean. Like, we don't last long in relationships. So we're only going out for like two or three weeks. We had sex like a week after we've been going out. So we're walking through the cemetery. We're having a talk. We're flirting with each other. She's a goth girl. You know, she was listening to the same type of music as I was. We were, had the same interest to where we sat on the bench and we were making out and she whispered something in my ear and I'll never forget this <laughs> you guys have to prepare yourself for this because it scared the shit out of me so she's really close and we're making out and she goes to my ear and she goes let's have sex on someone's grave and I'm like and I just stop and I look at her and I'm like what did you say and then she says it again she's like let's fuck on someone's grave and she takes her top off and I'm like well, what the fuck and I'm, I'm getting hard I'm not lying I am and I'm a weird fuck, but that scared the shit out of me. And I'm like, what, what, are you, what are you doing? She finds the grave that's like right behind the bench and it, there's a tombstone there and she sits on the tombstone and she took off her shirt. So she's pretty much like her boobs are hanging out and everything. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, man, I, I really want to fuck her, but I'm not going to fuck her on someone's graveyard. Like That's just fucked up. And she's looking at me like I have no dick. And I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? And at that point, I realized I'm like, like, this chick is crazy and she's looking at me and she's like you got a problem i'm like yeah i do have a problem she's like what what's your problem i'm like there's a dead person right there we're gonna have sex on top of a dead person what's what's wrong with you she's like there's nothing wrong with me there's something wrong with you i thought you were about this lifestyle i'm like yeah but that's too far i'm not gonna do this w what are you thinking she, she looks at me and then from there she starts putting her top back on and i'm like fuck like you know when you're 14 and you're a dude and you just want to fuck everything with the hole and i'm just like damn like i really missed out on this opportunity but at the same time i was really really freaked out and i don't think i could keep up with her at this point and i was just like walking home with this awkward silence there wasn't any more of that hot and spicy love and attraction that we had for each other it was more of a stale and bitter and just weird weird uh, emotional 
state at that point. So when I walked her home, I kept thinking to myself, I'm like, this has got to be a joke, right? So I actually asked her right outside her door and I was just like, were you joking or were you serious? To the point where in my mind, I was thinking like, oh, she's going to say she was just joking. Like, it, it's not like, you know, she was just fucking with me. Like, she just wanted to see my response. She's like, no, I was serious. Like, I, I wanted to fuck you on someone's grave. And I'm like, oh, well, I didn't. But can we go upstairs and fuck now? <laughs> Like, come on, I had to try. And she's like, no, it closes the door and <laughs> goes upstairs. And I'm like, fuck, fuck me. So I'm pretty sure I went home that night and took care of some business, if you know what I mean. And the next morning she called me and she said, I don't think this relationship is going to work. To my surprise, I was actually pretty happy because I don't like breaking up. I hate that whole awkward and emotional state of breaking up especially if you're going to break up with a crazy girl. And um, I was actually pretty happy about that. And I was like, I, I think it's not going to work out either. And she kind of like was like, what? You're, you're not going to try to get me back? And I'm like, uh, not really. I don't think I'm about this goth life. Uh, and then to me, I don't think it was a gothic thing to do. It was just a weird fucking sick fetish and she kind of just got pissed off and kind of hung up the phone to which you know down the line not to stretch out the story but down the line we we saw each other at school and her relationships didn't really last long i mean her longest boyfriend i think was like three to four months so i don't know to this day, I still think about it every time I walk past the graveyard and every time I pass by a graveyard, I always think of that moment for some reason. And so it always freaks me out because I don't know, <laughs> that's just some weird fucking shit. Like, come on, you can't blame me, right? I'm not wrong. I mean, you guys, come on, tell me in the comment section. Like, was it wrong of me? Like, I, I can't do it. I, I just can't. I can't have sex on someone's grave. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's, that was a weird, that was a weird thing. It was. I don't know what else to say. So, uh, if you enjoy this video and you enjoy this story time type of video, you know, fuck me with the toothbrush video. He fucked me with a toothbrush! Let me know if you want more videos like this, let me know because uh, I do have some stories to tell and I'd really appreciate to hear your feedback. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, be sure to subscribe. It helps a lot. It really does guys. Follow me on Twitter, double A underscore charge. And also if you want to chat with me, uh, I do have a discord server. It's down in the description down below. And that's all for today. Take care guys. Peace.